We are back out here on Okaloosa Island Fishing Pier. We have once again attached a GoPro right here to our fishing rod. And we're going to go drop it all the way up and down these pylons and see what we can see under this fishing pier. Now, you know that I'm injured if you watched last video. I can't really fish right now, but I can walk around this pier very slowly and drop a GoPro. So I hope you enjoy these videos. You seem to like the GoPro videos, and this will give you some good ideas as to what's going on on the Gulf Piers this time of year. So let's head out to the end and get started. Let's go ahead and start off the end of the pier and we're starting on the west corner of the Okaloosa Island Fishing Pier. It was a real interesting day because the water clarity differed all up and down the pier. It was crazy. Right here it's super blue. Then it turns green. First thing we see is a bunch of LYs and those are great bait. And then uh, we see a bunch of little uh, jacks right here, bar jacks or something. I'm not 100% sure the actual name, maybe banded rudderfish. Comment below if you know. Per beautiful fish though. But look above my GoPro at just how much bait this pier is holding. Those are all LYs or greenies or whatever you want to call them. Great baits and this pier has no shortage of it. This is the bottom, bunch of cigar minnows. There comes a remora. And check those guys out. Those are actually sand perch. And I've never seen them around the pier before. We used to catch them offshore fishing when I was growing up and we called them squirrel fish, but they're actually a sand perch and they have a very translucent meat and it's super white and they're very good to eat. So drop you a shrimp to the bottom at Okaloosa Island Pier and you can catch you a bunch of sand perch right now. Glad to see all the bait is showing up. That means that the good fishing is right around the corner. There's some more sand perch. There was no shortage of these sand perch out there all up and down the pier. As you'll see in a minute, I saw these guys. But it was funny, the better fish that I saw were actually closer to shore, as you guys will see here in just a second. We'll make a drop on the other side of the pier here and we actually started seeing some spade fish. Those spade fish are cool man. They're good to eat. They fight hard. You can usually catch them on little pieces of cut shrimp. Those are pretty good sized spade fish too. Some more sand perch, some pinfish. So there was no shortage of fish. Look at all the remoras. They probably thought that GoPro was food. And if you are coming down, oh look at that. Was that is that like a shark swimming off there to the right? That was kind of cool. Uh, if you are traveling down here then just know that this pier is alive and well. There's plenty of fish here. And look at that fish right there. I'm not sure what that is. If anybody knows, comment below. That's a pretty uh, unique looking fish. I have no clue what it is. Looks like some grunts, uh, some croaker, just plenty of bait fish. Never ending bait fish at this pier right now. And they are catching, if you want a fishing report from the pier, they are catching mackerel. They caught a cobia the other day. Uh, seeing a few tarpon, 
Uh, a little early for the tarpon, but they are starting to show up. And we're about to see some uh, really cool fish here in a minute. So now we're dropping in the shallows. I walked down about halfway down there and check this out. Some big old sheep's head. Those are great to eat. And those are not small ones. Those guys are big. If you want to try to target these sheep's head, you're going to need to use light line with a little fiddler crab. It's the best way to catch them. And check out those redfish that we just scanned over. Those are really nice sized redfish cruising through. So if, uh, if you're at the pier, your best bet right now is in the surf zone, targeting these sheep's head and redfish. Unless you wanna go out to the end and target mackerel. They were catching a few Spanish, catching, uh, been catching a few kings. So uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much what you're getting out there. But we see some more cool stuff here in a second. Some more of those banded rudderfish, I believe. And then check that out. That is a giant sea turtle. He was he was cruising around the pier all all morning long. And those uh, banded rudder fish were riding right next to the, I mean, right up close to that sea turtle, almost like a, like a parasite <clears throat> eating whatever the sea, eating his leftovers. You can see they're just cruising underneath him. Lots of more bait in the shallows, so that's good to know. No shortage of bait anywhere at this pier. There was some ladyfish cruising by. It was dirty. The water was kind of dirty in the shallows. In some areas, there was just a lot of grass moving in. And then I think in a minute I get some dolphin. Yeah, there's some there's some uh, dolphin just chilling. I actually saw them and dropped the GoPro right over them. So. All in all, pretty good morning out at the Gulf here nothing too crazy yet there's a little shark now if you are wanting to target these redfish that we did see under the pier i would recommend doing exactly what i'm going to do in this video and show you guys these redfish like live bait big live bait and this is me earlier in the year at navarre beach fishing pier this live cigar i'm gonna down right now and see if we can get a big fish and these cigar minnows are great baits, and I just like to keep them just kind of under the pier. I like to leave my bail open with my finger on the line like this, and that allows me to, when I feel a bite, I let him eat it for just a second. That way I get a good hook set. I just saw a big fish swim under, and so I'm hoping that he'll swim over to my bait. Oh, man, there he is. There he is. Oh, my gosh. Yep, yeah, fish on, fish on, fish on. Got him. That's a good one there. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Come on. Yeah, dog it. That's a good one right there. Whew. 
Nice. Nice fish. <laughs> There's about 10 of them came up with him. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I got one of the biggest hey, ones. Yeah, you get the, yeah, you get the big one, right? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Yeah, we got a little current there. There we go. There we go. That was easy. Thank you. He's a little too big. <laughs> I'll give him to you if he's legal. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be about 29. They get bigger as they bring him up. Yeah. Sweet, man. Check it out, y'all. First fish of the day right here in a Var Beach Fishing Pier. So, folks, if you enjoyed that video, shoot me a big thumbs up. I am injured at the moment, so I'm not really able to get out and do any hardcore fishing. But that's not going to stop me from making videos. My intentions for this video were that you learn a thing or two in case you are traveling down here on vacation and are wondering whether you should fish the Gulf Piers or not. Other than that, folks, we will catch you next time.